हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम अगेन टू दिस न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ शेक हैंड विद लाइफ यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम नरेंद्र शर्मा इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट द सोर्सेज ऑफ एरर इन मेजरमेंट एंड दिस वीडियो इज रियली गोइंग टू बी वेरी बेनिफिशियल फॉर यू सो स्टेट टिल द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो नाउ टेकिंग अ लुक ओवर द सोर्सेज ऑफ एरर इन मेजरमेंट वी हैव फोर सोर्सेज ऑफ एरर the first one is a respondent who responds the questions of the questionnaire the second one is situation the behavior of the of the respondent changes with the situation then third one is measurer who processes the responses of the questions in the questionnaire and the last one is instrument like the questionnaire okay now starting with the first source which is the respondent who is the respondent the respondent who responds the questionnaire in an interview now how he introduces the error in measurement how he works like a source of error in measurement while answering the questions or responding the questions the respondent may feel reluctant to express his strong negative feelings if he has some negative feeling for a question then he tries to be reluctant rather to answer the question he may have very little knowledge about a question or about the questionnaire or about a subject but he doesn't want to admit his ignorance and because of that he tries to answer incorrectly for the questions given in the questionnaire and this reluctance leads to guesses the respondent tries to answer the questions through his guess not through his knowledge in an interview and there are some transient factors or momentary factors that may lead to the respondent to answer inaccurately or in an incomplete way and these factors could be fatigue boredom and anxiety now we come to the second source of error in measurement which is situation now how does a situation contribute as a source of error in measurement we will study here in this video first we understand the situation so any condition which makes the respondent uncomfortable in an interview or while responding a questionnaire will produce the opportunity of error in measurement any condition which makes the respondent uncomfortable so this creates a situation where the respondent feels uncomfortable like the presence of someone else while responding questionnaire if someone is standing over your head while you are answering a questionnaire definitely you will feel uncomfortable so in that case the respondent distorts the responses of the questions in an interview and he would feel reluctant to express his view point in case his identity is not hidden so these kind of situations or these kind of conditions make the respondent uncomfortable to respond to respond the questions in in a questionnaire and the respondent introduces the errors in measurement or the respondent serves as a source of error in measurement because of the situation therefore the situations actually 
serves as a source of error in measurement. Right. Now the third source of error in measurement is measurer. The person who measures or processes the answers of the question or the questionnaire and how does the measurer serves as a source of error in measurement. We will study here. The measurer may distort responses by rewording or reordering the questions. He may encourage or discourage the respondent by his behavior may be he behave rudely with the respondent while taking interview or while asking the questions his style his looks make the respondent uncomfortable to answer the questions similarly the measurer may distort the findings by careless processing of the responses of the questionnaires where the respondent answered the questions of the questionnaire measurer may creep in errors due to incorrect coding faulty tabulations statistical calculations at data analysis stage so these are some causes because of that or because of these causes like the behavior the style of the measurer while taking the interview of the respondent by rewording or reordering the questions in the questionnaire or by careless processing of the answers of the respondent in a questionnaire or while doing some statistical calculations of the answers given by the respondent for a questionnaire. Because of these reasons, the measurer serves as a source of error in measurement. Okay, now we come to the fourth source of error in measurement, which is instrument. So if the measuring instrument is defective, like the questionnaire, here the measuring instrument is questionnaire where using the questions we collect the answers of the respondent but if the questionnaire is defective then the questionnaire or the instrument serves as a source of error in measurement. So the words used in questionnaire are difficult to understand by the respondent. If the respondent not able to understand the words used in the questionnaire while asking the questions about a subject, then obviously the respondent can't able to answer the question in a correct way and introduce the errors in measurement. If the questions asked to the respondent are beyond the understanding of the respondent, that means if the respondent can't able to understand the question clearly, in that case the respondent either reluctant to the question or he will answer the question incorrectly. Again, if the questions have ambiguous meanings, that means the questions are not clear to the respondent, then again the respondent will answer the questions incorrectly. Apart from this, there is a poor printing that could cause the error in measurement or if there is inadequate space for replies for the respondent or if the questions are without multiple choices then there are there are chances that 
the respondent could introduced the errors in measurement so in this way the instrument could serve as a source of error in measurement so these were the four sources of error in measurement so i have a recap for you the four sources of error in measurement are the first one is a respondent the second one is situation the third one is measurer and the fourth one is instrument i hope you have really enjoyed this video if so then hit the like button and share this video with your friends and colleagues and if you have any question or suggestions or if you have any doubt then do write your feedback in comment section subscribe shake hand with life youtube channel and hit the bell to get the notifications of my latest video lectures for course notes and ebooks please hit the links given in the description below this is narendra sharma signing off we'll see you soon in my next video with a new topic thanks for watching